smack something with a hammer with safety. Well, now you can do this while also building this amazing bird feeder. So let's build it. Before we begin, let's review the build it requirements on page 268. Scouts must complete the following requirements. One, learn about some basic tools and the proper use of each tool. Learn about and understand the need for safety when you work with tools. Requirement two, with the guidance of your Weeblows Den leader, parent or guardian, select a carpentry project and build it. Three, List the tools that you use safely as you build your project. Create a list of materials needed to build your project. Put a check mark next to the tools on your list that you will use for the first time. Four, learn about a construction career with your Weeblos Den leader, parent, or guardian. Visit a construction site and interview someone working in the construction career. For requirement one, we will learn about some basic tools and understand the proper use of each tool. A list of basic tools and their uses starts at page 270 of the Weeblos Handbook. The first tool you should get familiar with is the hammers. Hammers come in different shapes and sizes for different types of jobs. All four of these hammers are claw hammers. Their main use is to pound nails. You can also use the claw at the back of a hammer to pull nails. The next tool you should be familiar with are the screwdrivers. Like the hammers, screwdrivers come in different shapes and sizes. This is a Phillips screwdriver and this is just a flat screwdriver. Both of these are used to drive screws into wood. The next type of tool on the list are Allen wrenches. They're also known as hex wrenches. They are used for turning screws with an internal hex head. The next tool on our list is the chisel. The chisel has a very sharp blade like a knife. We use it to shave away small amounts of wood. The next tool on our list is an awl. It's used for making small holes in wood. The next tool on our list is hand saws. This saw can even be used with a miter box. Both of these saws are used for cutting wood in half. The miter box is used to help us cut wood in a straight line or at a 45 degree angle. The next tool on our list is the coping saws. These are our examples. The skinny blade on a coping saw is made to make detailed or curved cuts on wood. The next tool on our list is a sanding block. It's basically a piece of sandpaper. This handle is used to hold sandpaper and make it easier for you to sand down wood to make it smooth before we paint it. The next tool on our list is a tape measure. Tape measures are used to accurately measure wood on our project. The next tool on our list is a carpenter square. We use it to make perpendicular cuts in wood. You can also use it to mark our wood on different angles. The next tool on our list is a level. We use it to make sure that the things that we build are level with the horizon. The next tool on our list is a clamp. They also come in different shapes and sizes. We use clamps to hold pieces of our project together while making it. It is very important to have the correct safety gear for your project. You need gloves to protect your hands, glasses to protect your eyes, earmuffs to protect your ears and a face mask to protect your lungs. You should also wear protective footwear like clothes, toe shoes or boots while working with tools. Before you start working with tools, make sure that you know where a first aid kit is. Before we build our bird feeder project, first let's practice with some of our tools. We're wearing our safety glasses to protect our eyes. We can use the awl to punch a hole in our wood. 
Let's practice hammering nails into our wood with our hammers. So, first I will make a straight line using our square. I use this clamp to hold the wood while I cut it. Now I will cut on my line. This is for the French Revolution! Boy! For requirement two, we will be building a wood project. Let's build this bird feeder from our adventure box. In your Weeblow's adventure box, you will receive this large bird feeder kit. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Let's take a closer look at the parts of our large bird feeder kit. Our kit contains a construction seat. The large piece of wood is the bottom of our bird feeder. And the four longer pieces of wood are the edge of our base. These two pieces are uprights. And these two pieces are the roof. For step one, we nail the side pieces to the base. Now we'll hammer the other two sides to the base. Next we are going to nail the upright to the base. We are using a clamp to, so it would be easier to nail it. Next we are going to nail the roof in place. Now that the roof is on, we have to add the eyelets so we can hang the bird feeder. We built it, it's ready to hang. I hope you enjoyed watching us build this project. I hope you have fun building your own at home. Congratulations on completing this adventure. If you have any questions, you can send an email to this address.